What's going on everyone? I appreciate y'all checking out this Fallout 76 video. This is going to be a start to a new series. A while back I made a video over showing what happens when you talk to the cannibals with the cannibal perk card on. And a lot of the community actually enjoyed that because it was something they didn't know about in the game. So it was something new and entertaining for a lot of players. And that's one of the main reasons why I'm continuing these kind of videos and making this into a series. What I'm gonna be doing is showing interesting scenarios that you can get from choosing specific dialogue options throughout Fallout 76. If you know of any that I should show the community in the future, feel free to jot it down below in the comments. That'd be greatly appreciated because it'll help keep this series rolling. To start this off, I'm gonna be showing y'all what happens if you get Johnny to survive through the Vault 79 heist with the Raiders. I'll also be showing you how to get him to live as well. I'll be showing you what certain dialogue options you have to choose when talking with him inside the vault. A lot of players end up just letting Johnny die. I know I did with my first playthrough, and then I found out you can actually get him to live. So yeah, I thought this would be pretty interesting for the community to check out because not everyone has another character to just run through the story to witness these certain scenarios that can happen in the game thanks to the developers taking the time to implement them. So I figured it'd be nice to shine some light on some of them that I thought were pretty interesting. Starting off with showing y'all what happens when you get Johnny to survive throughout the Vault 79 heist. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into all of this now. Okay, so I guess to start this off, as soon as you blow open Vault 79, Meg has this to say to you before adventuring off inside. I gotta stay here and guard your butts till I'm confident we're in the clear, but got an important request for you. Well, Johnny has such a <laughs> everyone's cram spamming. It's funny. Okay, so my buddy was kind of talking at the same time, and I did kind of just skip what she said here, but it was pretty important to what adds up later. As you can see here, she says, With Johnny asking for such a big cut, I want you to keep an eye on him. And then she goes on and says, You let me know if he doesn't pull his weight. If he wants to keep his value, he's got to earn it. So basically, she's kind of concerned about Johnny and what he may pull. And then, you know, I just agreed to, yeah, I'll let you know if he doesn't do his job. Okay, so now moving forward, this next part is where Johnny does have the possibility of dying at. Let's go ahead and get into this part now. Uh, a funny thing. Long time ago, I broke into a similar system up at the Federal Reserve in New York. Uh, this here biometric scanner must run off some sort of central database. It seems it can detect a known felon. However, the way that you can get him to live at this part is just by simply not lying to him. I'm listening, but I haven't given up just yet. It's crazy, but it might work. As long as the big oaf doesn't break it first. Alright, Gail. Hop in the booth and listen to me. You always mean to Rara and Gail. No listening to you. Oh, come on. You know I don't mean it. I'm just joking around. No! No! Ah! Uh-huh. You're good to live. 
little rah-rah. Gale will do this for you. Okay, what do? Oh. I tried that already. She's too short for the scanner to work. Now the system flagged her as a potential threat. And that's what triggered the robots you presumably had to fight on the way here. Okay. So at this part, Gale will enter into the biometric scanner and you guys will have a conversation with AC, who is one of the Secret Service agents. And when you get done leading Gale through the conversation with AC, AC will unlock the door and you guys will get to progress further through Vault 79 all alive. However, the next scenario that's pretty important will be around when you get down to where the Secret Service agents are at. Right after you have the conversation with the Secret Service agents and you're told to go into the next room where Digger is at, this is when things get pretty interesting with Johnny. So as soon as you ventilate the reactor room to restore the power and you're able to access the room with the gold bullion, this is what he has to say to you within that area. Wow, would you look at that? You weren't joking about this being a big score. Makes me real sorry I've got to do this to you. Nothing personal. If I cut you out of the equation, that's more gold for me. Any last words? So, as you heard there, he threatens to take you out. And he will attempt to. This is where, once again, choosing the right dialogue option is extremely important if you want to get him to live. You have to choose the dialogue option going over how he took out his best friend, Hal. You have to have at least four charisma to get to that dialogue option. Also, if you have a whopping 12 charisma and higher, you'll be able to gain way more of the cut from Johnny. So yeah, having the charisma higher is extremely beneficial if you're wanting to take more of the gold at the end. But anyways, check this out, everyone. Meg's got nothing to do with it. And she'll never know that you died heroically fighting off a horde of feral ghouls, sacrificing yourself so that I could survive. Don't worry. She'll know how generous you were, pledging your share of the gold to me with your dying breath. Glad you asked. I expected big things from you in the arena. You weren't terrible, but I don't think I can trust you enough to work with you again in the future. And given your success here, that's something Meg will almost certainly expect. It's only a matter of time before Meg ditches me. Because you're willing to work for pennies. Or worse, you get me killed. Go on. I could use a laugh before you die. As I mentioned, so this next part here, as I mentioned in the beginning, where Meg told us to keep an eye out on Johnny, this is when that dialogue option now appears. Here's what he says about this when I tell him about what Meg said. Oh, did she? That's nice, but I'm not worried. See, I know my way around Meg. If you catch my drift. It doesn't take much to stay on her good side. I sincerely hope that's not the best you've got. Damn it. That was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. How was my partner, my best friend? I loved him like... like a brother. I might miss you, but we really just met. So I wouldn't miss you much. Of course I do. I think about it every day since it happened. I thought it'd send a message for people to fear crossing me. To respect me. But I just feel like shit. What are you, some sort of walking, talking, self-help book? Ah, forget it, you're right. I'll get way more praise for pulling this job off with you, Hotshot, than for shooting me in the back. Thanks for helping me see the light. So after the dialogue about how, here's when you get the option to choose the Charisma 12 and higher. We can say, it's going to be hard to trust you. Anything you can do to make things right? Yeah, I get that. How about this? I'll 
give you some of my share of the gold when this is all over. I know it may not seem like much, but greed almost cost me another friend. Think of it as symbolic or some shit. You're a good partner. Thanks. I hope we can let bygones be bygones. But yeah, that's what happens. I decided to cover this because I know a lot of players take out Johnny at this part because he is kind of harsh with his words talking to us here. However, if you do let him survive, there are some pretty interesting benefits. The first one is, well, you get some raider reputation for dealing with him. And later on, after we get out of the Vault 79, there is another benefit, but I'll get more into that later. Now I want to show you all, now I want to show you all the interesting conversation that you can have when we meet up with Meg at the end of the Vault 79 heist. This is some extremely rare dialogue that y'all are about to hear. Magnificent, isn't it? All that precious gold just waiting to become currency in the new world. That can't happen to the now. I know y'all weren't gonna start this party without me. Ain't that right, 76? Name's Meg. I run the crater, and this is my crew. I've already promised the gold to your agent. Assuming that's what you're here for, you two will have to work it out. We had ourselves an agreement, 7-6. I expect you to honor it. Thanks, 7-6. I'll have to ask Johnny what you did to make him feel extra generous. What about? I told you I liked him, Meg. All right. Time to haul the gold back to Crater and put it somewhere safe. So I got more interesting dialogue. So as you heard right there, you get a little bit of extra dialogue from Meg about Johnny being extra generous. Now here is the rare optional dialogue that you can get from Johnny in the Operation Center. As you can see in the top right, it says talk to Johnny in the Operation Center. So yeah, let's go ahead and listen in to all of this. Given how successfully you led a bunch of scoundrels to raid a top-secret government vault, I'd almost suspect you've done this before. Now you're just flattering me. Don't stop. I'm into it. But in all seriousness, I should be saying the same thing to you. You're the one who stopped me from doing something stupid when hacking the security system. I'd be red mist if it weren't for you. Thanks. And Meg and I will load up the gold and make sure it gets back to Crater safe. I'm not sure what to do with my share yet. I'm probably just going to find a safe place to store it for now, until opportunities present themselves. As for you, do whatever the heck you want now. Come back to Crater, strike off on your own. It makes no difference to me. I'll tell you what, though. You ever find another one of these vaults? You can count on me to help with him. Hey, you had my back, I had yours. What are friends for, huh? And we got the gold, too, so I'm sure we can put whatever misgivings we may have had about each other behind us. I'm sorry, what happened? We pulled off a very successful heist. I'm recalling a major issue. But if you want to reminisce about the good times we had, you know where to find me in the greater core. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you later, Vault Dweller. Hey, good work in there. So, yeah, as you heard, he just pretty much avoids the topic over what he did in Vault 79. And, well, that's just simply because he's around Meg at the moment. However, if you go to the crater and talk to him after the Vault 79 heist, here is what will happen. Hey, Vault Dweller. I may have something for you. Unless you just came by to chat. Here, take this, and um, don't ask where I got it. As you saw there, that is one of the other benefits. You do get handouts from Johnny. He gave us two stem packs there. And I believe this is something that can reoccur too. I'm not too positive on that quite yet though. But yeah, after you get your hand out, you can now start talking about the vault heist again with him. And here is what all he has to say. What about it? I haven't decided yet. 
I'm actually hoping those Secret Service guys manage to establish an official currency again. If they do, that gold will buy me a lot of power. But until then, I'll have to settle for being one of the world's richest men. Pending. You just keep beating that dead horse, don't you? Look, I already said I was sorry, and gave you a significant peace offering. So let's bury it out back and get on with our lives. All right? I don't appreciate you trying to make it sound like I was useless. Now my trusty revolver would say otherwise. I may not have been able to get us past security, but I still put my life on the line, and probably saved yours at least half a dozen times by my count. So maybe show a little humility and appreciation, Hotshot. Well, it's about time someone said it. But really, the pleasure's all mine. So, yeah, there you have it, everyone. A full breakdown over what happens if you get Johnny to survive throughout the whole Vault 79 heist. If you found this enjoyable and would like to see me continue these kind of videos, feel free to leave a like on this. The support is very motivating. I'm out of here, everybody. Thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time. Peace.